so many non-surgical options today that we can provide patients, we decided to see how far we could go. So last year in 2007, we did a non-surgical extreme makeover. Our patient, Becky, was chosen right after the first of the year, and we took her through a series of procedures that were non-surgical with minimal to no downtime over a period of about three months. Becky's non-surgical makeover included Radius, which is a deeper filler that is thicker and lasts for a longer period of time. We did most of her structural or volume augmentation with Radius, filling in the area around her brows, several layers in the cheek area, and her tear trough or the depression under the eyes. This allowed some pull as this was filled to augment the three-dimensional volume of her cheek, smoothing the nasolabial lines. It also lifted her brow and then filled in the depression that often makes the eyes look tired. Augmenting the border of her lips with Juvederm allowed her to avoid the running of her lipstick up the small vertical lines that she had developed around her lips. This border definition or enhancement, as well as the volume that we provided in her lips, gives her mouth, which you can see here from her before and after pictures, a much more youthful, supple look. Juvederm was also used to lift the corners of her mouth, which makes the mouth appear happier and makes the patient appear less sad or tired. Radius was also used for structural augmentation in the pre-jowl area where there's a triangular depression which you can see here from the jowl dissension. Filling in this area smooths the area along the jawline and in addition to that we gave her some uh, chin volume or chin augmentation with radius to bring this forward slightly to smooth this angle through here. Also to delineate her neckline, we performed lipolysis in the lower neck area. This not only dissolves some of the fat in this area, but also tightens the skin to define the contour along her jawline. Botox is used to relax muscles which are causing deeper wrinkles. Botox was used in the forehead area to relax the horizontal forehead lines in the area between her brows to relax that frown that many patients get are the 11 sign. And then Botox was used along the outer brow to give her a little bit of brow lift by relaxing those muscles that depress the brow. Botox was continued around this outer area here to help prevent crow's feet and relax the muscles that causes the wrinkles around the eyes.